Hey guys, in uh, today's video, we're going to be going over a plan I have for a future upgrade to the go kart. When we're looking at the workbench, you may notice that I have all these parts on here, even the engine, uh, off of the go kart. If you look over here, I stripped the entire rear end of the go-kart down to the bare frame. A-arms, engine, uh, drive assembly, wheels, everything is off. We have it all the way down to the base frame. Uh, and I did that for a couple reasons. I meant to record it, but I was planning on doing some different things, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be worth a video. Uh, and I'll get to why I did that in a minute. But the rest of the video, I'm going to work on stripping basically the rest of the go-kart completely down to bare frame. So we'll work on the seat, shifter linkage, wiring, uh, front arm, suspension, pedals, steering, um, and the rack and pinion. Okay, so now I'm going to get into why I stripped down this frame. As you may have noticed, this go-kart is running off of a fairly small Predator 212, uh, 6.5 to 7 horsepower engine. It's really not enough to fill the maximum capabilities of this go-kart with all the braking, uh, suspension, steering components and everything that are on there. This engine just isn't, isn't really strong enough. Um, and it's not even that the engine isn't strong enough, the clutch really isn't strong enough. I have a standard uh, 30 series torque converter on there, I believe. Uh, and I'm just eating through belts. Uh, unfortunately, it's gotten to the point where my belt has stretched so much uh, and eaten away so much that it's basically useless. I mean, I can barely get going without revving it to, to you know, max RPMs of this engine. Um, you can see, I'll show you this belt in a minute, it's just completely eaten up. Here you can see the belt. Uh, you can see how it's completely torn up here. Um, it's gotten so bad it's built up a shiny coating on the outside which when it heats up pretty much melts and becomes oil. Uh, it's gotten so bad that this belt is basically useless. Okay, so I've been thinking for a while about what I can do to fix this issue with the belt. Um, and I've basically given up on the idea of replacing the belts and or getting a bigger transmission. Transmissions, uh, particularly torque converters, are just about as expensive as a whole new engine would be. And for that price, I could go and buy a motorcycle engine uh, with a manual, you know, five-speed transmission, which would be so much better suited for, for this build. Um, and that's kind of the route that I'm thinking about going. Uh, some type of a motorcycle engine, particularly like one of the Lifevan 200cc five-speed engines that are on eBay. Uh, I've seen a couple other YouTubers build those in their, in their vehicles, and they seem to turn out really well. It comes with all the parts to get the engine running, and it would be a simple bolt-in installation. But that leads me to another issue. Um, is my frame worthy of an engine like that? You know, especially if I were to go with that, or possibly even something larger out of a, you know, a, a street motorcycle. Is the frame going to withstand those forces, or you know, is it like putting a Lamborghini engine in a Honda Civic? Is it is it worth it? You know. The vehicle isn't the vehicle isn't good enough for the engine that's in it basically and that's the question that i keep going over in my mind is whether or not i should take the money and rebuild the frame rather than upgrade the engine but it's like you know do i do i upgrade the frame and not have a good engine to put in it because if i were to upgrade the frame it would probably end up being even heavier than it already is even though it'd be much stronger um but on the other hand if I upgrade the engine and I have this frame, I'm not really going to be able to use it to its full potential until I do something with the frame. So I'm kind of stuck there and I've been thinking for a while about it, but I basically decided that I'm going to do something with the frame first. Uh, and I've come up with the idea of basically taking everything off the frame, cutting the frame up and leaving the base, you know, just the main frame rails, the bottom section, uh, and rebuilding everything up from there because the base looks pretty good. It's, it's solid, well built. Um, but I would rebuild this um, to be slightly different size. So I would have to cut up the, uh, you know, the roll cage and the main supports and everything, and 
rebuild it. So I'm going to start this video by just removing everything off of the frame. So there you go guys, it's uh, completely disassembled. Um, all I have to do now, uh, tomorrow, take a better look at it, start cleaning it up and get ready to chop it, uh, cut it up into the sections that I want to cut up into.